<laughs> okay. Hello, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining us today in our EFL talks. And thank you, Rob, for inviting us all to this fruitful event, inshallah. Um, I'm going to start my talk with, um, you know, a striking title, Teachers' Survival in Crisis. Okay, so teachers' survival in crisis, um, it's a, a catch titles. Uh, so uh, in your opinion, um, how teachers can survive in crisis? And how is it related to us as teachers during our last crisis, the, the, the crisis that the world has witnessed, you know, um, COVID-19. So we are going to talk about it and we are going to share ideas with each other of how we as teachers can strive and get over all, all the crisis with our talents as teachers. So one of our um, um, great participants, um, by being technological illiterate, yes, uh, Mr. Ahmed, yes, uh, that's great by having technological aids and it doesn't only mean technology but the source is in you as teachers you know you as teachers you are a creative person you are one who can shape characters who can shape personalities and that requires you to be talented in many in many other respects and that's what we are going to say in the next slide so uh, what can you tell me about this picture? <laughs> who can, who can, who can um, tell me about this picture? Yes, cast away. Yes, it's cast away. And uh, it, it indicates how uh, Tom Hanks in this movie did not surrender to the fact that he is going to die. No. He strived, he, he did the impossible to get back to his original life and to get over the cries that surrounded him by being abandoned, alone on an island. And that's exactly what we did as teachers during the COVID-19 um, crisis. So uh, that is, um, you know, um, a background of um, our uh, uh, EFL talk today, and that's what I'm going to uh, talk to you about. So, our crisis was the COVID-19, and you have seen how we all suffered from it. But you, as teachers, what did you do to overcome this crisis? Or what did we do here as Egyptian teachers to get over such a crisis? <clears throat> so we flipped learning, yes, uh, from moonlight in our circumstances. Yes, we have done this um, from Ahmed. We alternative technology and um, yeah, of course, the technology helped us a lot. But uh, the question is, so uh, what did you do with, with the technology? Technology was just a means. So is, the question is what you literally did. So how was your performance? Uh, what ideas? Uh, you know, uh, how did you share the knowledge that you have with other colleagues? So here is the, the criteria that we are going to work on uh, on this slideshow. So how uh, EFL teachers survive um, that crisis? Um, we we are going to we are going to divide it into you know. Um, into I divided it into three main parts, and if you can consider uh, more than one, uh, I will be happy to hear from you. So the three dimensions uh, that we worked on was number one, carrying out your mission with your students, and uh, number two, uh, personal professional development, number three, your voluntary work. Towards your community of teachers. 
So these are the three main aspects that uh, I personally worked on. And, you know, most of the, the teachers of Nile Tisel here in Egypt worked on along together. You know, they even shared the programs together and the sponsorship of Nile Tisel and the sponsorship of, uh, of other uh, programs here in Egypt, such as um, uh, Rilu, you know, Rilu Cairo office here in, uh, in Egypt. So let's take them one by one. So first thing is carrying out your mission with your students. So we used Zoom educating session. So when you try to, to, to transfer your students um, immediately from face to face into a virtual learning that they have never been accustomed to, especially if they were young learners, you would find great difficulty in addressing them. So the first thing that you need to do as a flexible teacher is to adapt to them and educate them about how to use these technological aids that are going to help them learn the language and learn the programs that you assign to them. This was one way that we used via um, technological aids. So the other one was using Facebook live sessions that we um, used and instead of uh, um, there is no sound um, is that familiar with all can you hear me at the last yeah. carry on carry yeah, on okay okay um so this is a facebook live sessions and here in egypt we um, the Ministry of Education created the Edmodo platform in which students can uh, transfer knowledge and learn from their teachers. They can share virtual classes and they can join these classes. Okay, so for the personal professional development, um, we, uh, during the COVID-19, had um, many things that we done. Um, virtual TESOL International, okay? In international TESOL affiliation and a really connect program. So these were the professional development uh, program that um, most of the teachers here in Egypt that uh, adopted during the COVID-19. So we, 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 did not, we, we didn't uh, stop and we did not stay in our home just getting scared of the virus. No, we try to work on our professional development in many aspects. So we attended the virtual TESOL International that was, hold, uh, that was held in July, I think 17, 18, 19. Okay. And also the international TESOL affiliation. Um, and, and that international TESOL affiliation, let me tell you something that we shared the session there in this international affiliation, and I'm going to tell you about them in the next slide. And last but never least, the RILU program, Connect program, the RILU uh, Cairo office organized a Connect program that educate the teachers of, here of Egypt to teach the Connect curriculum in a, a, a communicative approach way. Uh, via integrating the backward design lesson plan that they integrated with each other, providing many resources, many materials, and many things that you can that you can use inside their classroom. So this was a professional, um, personal professional development. So the voluntary work that was the most amazing one. So it was charades coffee nights, NTTP sessions, novice teachers program by RILU, and mentor program. So for the charades, I'm going to tell you, um, I cut it in short, however, it's a long story. Charade is a program initiated by the Nile Tiesel, uh, the Nile Tiesel here in Egypt, Nile Tiesel Professional Development Chairwoman. Uh, the charade is a program in which you can create a team of teachers who can act out scenes from plays and novels, you know, stories of um, students from uh, all over educational stages and create it and students can guess what the scene is about. And that charades was adopted by the Nile Tissel affiliation that witnessed the show and liked it very much and invited the team to act out it 
in the Nile Tissel affiliation. Uh, the next one was the coffee nights that was uh, that were organized each Wednesday. Uh, to discuss uh, educational uh, programs, to discuss educational techniques that you can use inside your classroom during the COVID-19 crisis. The entity based session, Nile teacher training program, and the novice teacher program, uh, uh, that was a program created by the mentors of RELU 2020, you know, to help novice teachers adopt the teaching uh, styles and last but never least, the mentor program. So after the COVID-19 crisis, right. you must see <laughs> right at the end of the way. <laughs> you see, you thought 10 minutes was easy. It's no. not easy. <laughs> no, that was great, though.